welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few items that are just favorites, things I've been really enjoying this month. And honestly, shockingly, none of them are cosmetics. I know. So some of them are skincare and things for the body, some of them are not. Um, but I hope you stay tuned to watch my five favorite May favorites. Before we get into the video too far, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. We are over 100 subscribers and growing. Okay, so like I said, this video is not going to be super long. I only have five items to share with you guys, but these are just things that I have been extra loving this month. I'll start with the things that are more, I guess you would call it lifestyle items or not really skincare or anything like that since I don't have anything that's cosmetics. The first thing I've been loving is tea. <laughs> no, not tea like gossip tea, but tea like hot tea. I drink a lot of hot tea. Um, and I have been loving this brand called Harney and Sons. So here's one example. This is the Paris tea. My piano accompanist that works with me and my groups that I direct at my job at school um, got me this for Christmas. It's like this awesome variety pack. All of those different colors are different flavors. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy this in stores. I haven't looked since I have not depleted this yet. I've really just broken into this stash. But the tea bags do say um, hardyandsons.com. So I would imagine that you can at least buy them online, which may be preferable for some of you if you're like me and you're kind of trying to avoid going to the stores in person right now. But these are all really delicious. They have regular, meaning caffeinated, as well as decaffeinated varieties. Um, and I also like the fact that when you tear open each packet, you know, there's that little like paper at the end of the string of your tea bag. It tells you for each type how long you should steep the tea um, because there is a different time that is best for each kind of tea. So I appreciate that that's right on the little paper tag on the end of the tea bag so there's no guesswork for you and it's been just a really relaxing beverage for me here at home. The next thing is a candle from Apothecary. Now this one is the White Flowers scent. Uh, this is an artisan soy wax candle. Because it is soy wax, which I've been trying to get more soy candles just because they burn a lot longer. This one approximate burn time is 60 hours. That's a long time considering it's not that large. This is only eight ounces, so it's pretty small, but I like the vibe. I like the label. It just looks very high end to me. I love that there's this little cork lid. It's just a regular candle on the inside. You can see I've burned maybe half of it so far, but the scent, hmm, it's just, it smells like spring to me. And at least in Ohio, we went pretty much from winter straight to blazing hot summer. Did not have a very good spring. So I've been loving to burn this in my house. It's a nice light floral scent. It's not too overpowering or headachey. It just smells very fresh. Um, this is from World Market. If you've never shopped at a World Market, I would highly recommend you check one out. I really like shopping there. It gives me a lot of variety and more things that feel kind of I guess I would say exotic to me coming from a small town where there's not a lot of variety. Shopping at World Market makes me feel like I got to travel somewhere and go on a trip somewhere and find something like out of the ordinary or exotic or something that's from out of the country without the price tag of leaving the country. So that's a place I really enjoy um, World Market in general and the apothecary candles specifically this month. The next item has also helped me prepare from going from winter straight into 88, basically summer weather here in Ohio. And this is the St. Tropez Gradual Tan. This is the Gradual Tinted Tan. Um, and it says it's going to give you an instant healthy glow. Um, and this says sheer skin perfecting coverage for an even streak free sun kissed golden glow that gradually builds and hydrates for up to 48 hours. Now I 
you have really dry legs. I mean, I've had people tell me before, you are the ashiest white girl I know, just because I get that, like, I know it's gross, but flaky on my shin specifically. So I don't feel this hydrates for up to 48 hours. I find that I need more moisturizer or lotion or whatever in my legs every day to keep them not flaky, peely, dry. Um, but that could just be a me thing. It's not necessarily the product. However, I will say, this does give you a very nice gradual tan. It looks very natural in my opinion and I've had no streaking with it. The cool thing about this is that it's more of like a gel I would say than a lotion. I was using the Jergens before this. Can't find my bottle, maybe I used it up, not sure. But had this from Ipsy and it's so nice. And it also just smells like it's not quite like suntan lotion but it's also not coconut but it just smells like beachy to me. I don't know like it just has that smell of like more like suntan, suntan oil than sunscreen but I really like this. I think it works well. It's not streaking. It looks gradual and it's great if you're like me because as my brother says when I get tan I don't actually look tan. I'm just working on going from a piece of paper to regular skin color. So if you need something to make you look regular human skin color on your legs specifically i usually use it more on my legs than my arms this is a great fake tanner i have two more items to share with you guys the next one is from dr brandt and this is the microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator this i got in a little ulta like skincare kit that i could try on um, and it was $9.99 I think for like 10 items. So this was maybe a dollar or two, but I have fallen in love with this. Now the thing with this is you can't use it every day. It's a bit too harsh for that. Um, they recommend that you allow three days between application, but this leaves my skin smoother than anything else. If I have any dry skin anywhere, any texture, any little bit, this gets rid of it. And my face like, I try not to touch it after I use it because I know there's natural oils in my fingers that I'm putting oils on my skin, but it feels so baby smooth that I almost can't help touching my skin. And I really think that you would like that. If you're looking for a new exfoliator or if you just feel like your makeup isn't really applying smoothly and you've got some texture, try that Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. And the last thing also came in my Ulta kit that I had tried. This is the Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer right here. It comes in what looks like a mascara tube, but it is white. There is the wand. And this recommends that you use it either as a primer or you can just wear it at night while you're sleeping by itself and it claims to be longer, healthier, restored looking lashes. Of course, it's got collagen in it. I did try this as a primer underneath mascara and did not like it at all. I thought it made it look like I had the clumpiest, bleh, spidery, gross, I don't know. I like my lashes really separated and I felt like this made it a little clumpy as primer. So I did not like it that way, but I have been wearing it consistently every night and then just washing it off before I put on my mascara. And I have loved how my lashes have looked, especially the bottom ones. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So you guys probably know before, like, I really didn't even have lower lashes. Like, you could never see them. And look, they're here. Like, I have little, there are still little baby lashes, but you can actually see my little lashes underneath here. Wow. So yeah, I do feel like that has actually helped my lashes become healthier and possibly a little bit, I don't know, longer or thicker or something, or at least it's combating, you know, wearing mascara during the day or whatever harshness I'm putting through it by curling it or anything. So I'm really, really loving this and looking forward to continue using it and seeing if I continue to get more results or I'm really curious once I stop using it, if I'm going to notice that I stopped or if it's like placebo effect to that I think that it's working but it's just in my mind because I'm doing the process of something to my lashes so those are the five products I have been loving this month and I think you should check out and let me know what you think of them if you've used any of them in the comments below so that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe to my channel 
If you're new here, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, and I hope to see you back for the next video. Bye!